hands to heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Let's open our practice with three arms. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Sugandim pushte varanam Urvarukamiva bandhanam Richo mokshya mamputa Put the hands down to the knees. Let's roll the shoulders up and down on the back. Coming into your jai breath. Setting your intention for today's practice. So your intention can be physical, spiritual or mental. So today's yoga on the go class is for the whole body. So let's start by taking the fingers, rub the fingers to hands together. I'm going to create some energy here. Place the hands on the heart. Charge up the hands again. And then take the tips of the fingers and tap the chest. Breathe here, your jai breath. Taking the tapping all over the chest. And down onto the abdomen. Just tapping all those abdominal organs inside of the legs. Bottom half of the legs. Let's take the hands up the back. Down one arm. Down the other. On the back. And then gently on the head, on the face. Float the hands down to the knees. Take the palms down today for some grounding. Chin to the chest. Inhale. Let's take the gaze to the right side. Keep the head nice and straight, gazing to the horizon. Then to the right. Come back to centre. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. Up to centre left knee to left shoulder, up to centre, raise the right hand, bring it over the head and just gently guide the right ear to the right shoulder one more time, up to centre, swap the hands over, so the left hand over the head, guide that left ear to the left shoulder, inhale up, let that go. Roll the shoulders. Okay, so let's start off with our butterfly pose. Sit high on the sit bones. Take the soles of the feet together, coming into zipper toes. So try and swap that thread over each time so that you change the, you change the thread each time you do come into zipper toes. Anytime you're just hanging out, watching TV or listening to music or reading, just come into zipper toes. Take 
fifth feet away. So you're making this beautiful diamond. You're going to inhale and then exhale, fold forward. And bring the hands into Yoni Mudra here. Allow the head to fall. And just breathe here. We're here for three minutes. Allow the body to melt into the pose. Two minutes to go. Two minutes, oh, one minute, sorry, almost there. Thirty seconds. Let's inhale up. Bring the hands behind, take the feet to mat with little just a little bit of windscreen wiper here. Then we're going to come to a standing position for our dangling, releasing the lower back. So come to standing position. If you need, you can take a block, put the hands on. Otherwise, let's take the right leg across the left. So if you bring it in, if you bring the feet in closer, it's uh, more intense but if you take your legs out not so intense take the feet out sorry so we're going to inhale a nice big stretch here roll the shoulders and then just fold forward you can let the hands dangle you can place them on the earth place them on a block whatever you need or you can take the hands in opposite elbows here and just allow the head to fall. We're just here for two minutes. Breathe here, 60 seconds to go.
30 seconds. Give the legs a shake. Let's cross the ground down through the right foot. Let's bring the left leg over now. So crossing the left leg over, come about the same distance that you were on the other side. Inhale, nice big stretch. Exhale, fold forward. Take hold of the elbows, come onto a block, fingertips on the earth, whatever is in your practice, whatever you feel comfortable with. If it's in your practice, you can clasp the hands behind the ankles, nice intensity down through the hamstrings. Fifty seconds, stay with it. coming up. Undo the legs, give them a big shake. Let's take the feet to mat width apart. Toes are on a 45 degrees. We're coming down into a squat here. Inhale. Exhale, bending the knees. Bring the elbows down onto the inside of the knees. And just gently guide the knees in opposite directions here. Hands to the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Breathe. If it's not good for you, you can come to sit on a block. That's quite okay. Or if you need a rolled up blanket or a rolled up yoga mat underneath your heels, if your heels aren't quite flat on the earth, then just bring something underneath those heels. You can roll the mat up from the behind. Soft your jaw breath. We're here for four minutes. Tilt the tailbone. Tilt the tailbone forward. Breathe here.
we're halfway there. We can stay here, or we can come in a little bit closer. And draw our heels a little bit closer. And then the shoulders come down below the knees. You may be able to clasp the hands behind. Spine is long. Take the gaze towards the end of the mat. Breathe here. Last 60 seconds, we're almost there. Bring the hands around. Take the hands onto the mat and then just come into a kneeling position. So from here we're going to come into a toe squat. So bring the toes onto the mat and then just bring the little pinky toes forward. out to the side, bring the right arm under the left and then the palms together, inhale elbows to shoulder height and then exhale draw the hands away. We're just here for two minutes. Open toes, open mind. Just take the awareness to the breath. to go. We're almost seconds stay with it. Just let the hands go, bring them out to the side, draw the fingertips back towards the 
come off those toes now. Give the toes, tops of the feet, a nice little massage here. Okay, so coming back into one more toe squat. This time, the left arm comes under the right, palms together. Inhale, elbows to shoulder height, draw the hands away. Tuck those pinky toes, make sure they're facing forward. We're just here for two minutes. Breathe. Put a nice stretch across the back of the shoulders. You die breath. And try to relax here, let go of any tension. Jai breath. 50 seconds. We're halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Release the arms, bring them out to the side. Let's come off those toes, give them a rest. Nice tapping on the tops of the feet. So come, we're going to come into a nice ankle stretch now. Bring the hands behind the to uh, toes. Toes are nice and flat. Now you can come up, bring the knees off the earth here. Keep the hands on the mat. Just take the gaze forward. Feel a really beautiful stretch right on the tops of those feet and ankles. Spine is long. We're just here for two minutes. You can stay here and if you want to take that to the next level bring the hands the heart center in number stumbled and take the gaze forward spine is long balancing on the tops of the feet giving the ankles a nice stretch here Twenty seconds. We'll keep the hands on the mat, whatever's in your practice. Last ten seconds, we're almost there. Come to tabletop, give the tops of the feet one more stretch. So you will need a block. 
in a few moments, but let's come down onto the mat into happy baby. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a big hug. Let's take your two peace fingers around the big toes. Inhale. Bring the feet parallel with the ceiling or the sky and then exhale. Bring the knees towards the elbows, uh, towards the armpits. Flatten the sacrum on the earth. Now you may want to rock from side to side here. into stillness. Allow the body to melt, relax. <laughs> then bring the knees together, give them a big hug. Let's do three rocks along the spine. If you don't want to rock, just come to the right side with helping hands coming up. Okay, so I'll give you a choice here. You can come to legs up the wall if you have a wall handy. If not, we're just going to come into a long bridge here, really lengthen out through that spine. So come to sit on your block. You want the sac uh, the sacrum to be on the on your mat on your bolster. Sorry. You want the sacrum to be on the bolster when you lay down. So let's, with helping hands coming to lay down on the mat. So it's like a supported bridge here. Now you can stay in this position with the, just making the adjustment so your sacrum is nice and flat. You can have the legs bent or you can straighten the legs out. Totally up to you. Let's bring the hands above the head. So you're getting some beautiful length right through the body here. And just breathe. Off to jive breath. Bend the knees, the soles of the feet close to the buttocks. Bring the hands down, lift up, and then just pull your 
folds that out from underneath. Bring the knees into the chest. Let's take the legs up straight. Cross the right leg over the left. Inhale. Arms come out to the side in a letter T. And then exhale, allow both legs to fall to the left side. Get a nice twist right through that body. Take the gaze to the right fingertips. the left hand on to the right knee otherwise just stay where you are Let's inhale up to centre. Undo the legs, swap them over so the left leg comes across the right. Inhale. Exhale, allow both legs to fall to the right side now. Take the gaze to the left fingertips. If it's in your practice, take the right hand onto that left knee. Gently guide it towards you. Just breathe here. Yeah. back up to center and do the legs bring them into the chest give them a big squeeze let's roll from side to side massage the sacrum rolling over onto the right side and then with helping hands coming up so taking we're coming into a supported matsyasan here fish pose so take your block what you want to do, what we want to do here, oh, all tangled up. What we want to do here is bring that block into the center along the spine so that the block's at the top of the shoulder blades here. So we're going to open the heart into a supported Natsyasana. Laying down on your block. You'll know when you've got it in the right place. Very, very comfortable, opening up the heart. So you can have three levels here. You can have your block flat 
if you want a little bit more lift through the heart, bring it up to the next level. You may need a blanket under your head, a folded blanket, or if you want to really open the front side of the body, come up onto the highest level. I'm just going to come onto this middle level here. Just relax down into the down into the earth, down into your mat. Have the legs out straight, allow the feet to fall out to the side. And then when you're ready, baby, just bring that left foot to the earth, bend the left knee, roll off to the right side and just remove your block from underneath. So coming into now, into your Shavasana. Gathering anything you need, blankets, eye pillows, bolster under the knees, maybe a pillow under the head, anything you need to be the most comfortable that you can be. Allow the body to be melt, to become more and more heavy. Visualize walking down a beautiful golden staircase. Walking down the steps. One, two. Becoming more and more heavy. Three, four, five. And almost weightless and supported here on your mat. Six, seven, eight. Deeper and deeper. Light and light. Nine, ten. You're weightless here. Like you're lying on a cloud of soft, supportive protection.
slowly introducing movement into the fingers and toes. Gently rolling the head from side to side. Raise the right hand above the head and rolling over onto the right side body. Staying here in the fetal position for a few moments. Taking your thoughts back to today's intention. Maybe take that intention with you throughout the day. With helping hands coming up to a seated position, half lotus or easy pose. Let's do a few rounds of Aloma Veloma here. Take the two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. The left hand in jhana will drop arms facing up. The spine is long. Exhale through both nostrils. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left, exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale left. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Soft shoulders, one more round together. Inhale left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. Put the right hand down to the right knee. Inhale. Let's clasp the hands behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold forward. Surrender yourself to Mother Earth. Inhale up to a seated position. Rub the hands. Take the palms over the eyes. Feel the warmness. One breath. And draw the hands away from the face. Open the eyes to a soft gaze. Hands to heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Let's close our practice with one Om and three Shantis. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. 